Alright. So here's another Dark Souls 3 video. I'm going to show you how to get the Black Sword. There's those archers over there. This isn't the first the area you get it in. But I'm going to get to that. This is right after the video where I was showing the Black Serpent. That's why I'm still here. Anyway, to get the Black Sword, you want to go to High Lord Wolfnir. That bonfire. This is one of those boss bonfires. Now, you don't actually need to beat the boss to get the Black Sword. That, uh, you do need to beat this boss to get the Black Serpent, though. I didn't mention that when I was showing it off. Oh, by the way, pro tip, before you start this, this boss fight, when you get to this point, break all the pots. It's very tedious. Yes, there's like 7,000 of them. But, uh, the easiest way to break the pots quickly is to use the Fair and Great Sword. Hold on. You need to go two-handed, and then you just do this. Destroy the pots, or you can roll into them like normal. But the black blade is right here. It's kind of like the Uchi Katana in the sense where it has the same kind of attack. It's basically a duplicate. I'm not sure if it's better though. My Uchi Katana is, of course, upgraded, but I'm fairly certain this sword would probably be better if I were to have not upgraded the Uchi Katana at all. But anyway, how you're going to get it, Black Blade, is there's going to be a Mimic down here. Now, normally, of course, you'd be coming from that side of the bridge. And there's, like, a bunch of skeletons spawn when you get on this bridge as well, there's going to be like 40, about 40 skeletons that spawn, so you want to break it. It's a good way to get souls, but uh, when you go to the bonfire, it doesn't make the bridge respawn, so you literally would have to leave, so this is not an efficient farming place, even though you can get like upwards of 3,000 souls by destroying the bridge. So what you want to do is there's going to be that dude right there. I think if you kill him, he won't spawn, but I'm nowhere near strong enough to kill him. And I'm pretty much just cheesed to kill the Mimic anyway. I used his fire attack right here. Watch. Yeah, if you're far away, those things blow fire at you. Basically, the Mimic's going to be right here. Now you might be wondering, how do I tell the difference between a Mimic and a regular chest? Well, if you didn't know... The regular chest has a curved chain, and Mimic has a straight chain. So that's how you know, you gotta look at the chain next to the chest. But anyway, what I did is I used that guy's fire attack right there to hit the Mimic. And then I ran back over here. And went up here. And the Mimic can hit you, well, any enemy can hit you while you're going up the ladder, so you want to do it really quick. Otherwise, the Mimic's gonna hit you, and you'll probably die. He almost killed me when uh, that came. Anyway, when the Mimic realizes it can't get you, it'll turn back into a chest over there. So you basically, you pull out your bow, and you shoot him while he's right there. And then he'll be attracted to you, but he still can't reach you. And what you need to do is you need to walk back here, and then the Mimic will fall off into the edge down there, and he'll die. And, uh... You'd think since he falls down there and dies, you couldn't actually get the item, but that's not actually true. If I believe uh, if you go back to the bonfire, it'll put the item back up there, but I'm not sure if that works. Basically, how I got the black blade is, it is inside the Mimic's belly, but I definitely didn't jump down there to get it. That fire enemy in the uh, area down there, he actually killed me, and then I respawned. And I was like, man, I can't get whatever item was in the Mimic's stomach, but I actually could, because it brought the item upstairs and put it back where the Mimic was. 
So basically, even if a mimic falls off the map, you can still get the item. You just need to go back there later. Not sure if you need to die or resting at the bonfire would do it. But that's how you're going to get this black blade right here. Well, this is the Uchi Katana, of course, but the black blade. Basically the exact same thing. I believe that it's actually a little bit shorter, though. I can't really tell. Kind of difficult. And, you know, it doesn't really give you a very good representation of how long the blade is in this menu. Maybe if I read the description, I'll probably... Hmm. Okay, yeah, so it is, it is a little bit shorter than the Uchi Katana. I thought it was shorter. Pretty cool weapon, though. Anyway, that's how you're gonna get that one. See you once again.